Let's make a chart to summarize how you regulate blood pressure. We know that you have two basic methods, nervous and hormone. Nervous regulation is by the medulla oblongata. It controls the two divisions of your autonomic nervous system. So we have sympathetic, And we have parasympathetic. Parasympathetic uses the cardio inhibitory center. This center uses the vagus nerve to secrete acetylcholine onto the nodes of the heart. This reduces heart rate, and if you reduce heart rate, you reduce cardiac output, which reduces blood pressure. Your sympathetic system has two centers. It has the cardio acceleratory center and it has the vasomotor center. The cardio acceleratory center sends norepinephrine to two parts of the heart, the nodes and the myocardium. When you put norepinephrine on the nodes, you increase heart rate. This increases cardiac output, which increases blood pressure. When you put norepinephrine on the myocardium, you increase stroke volume, which increases cardiac output which increases blood pressure. The vasomotor center is what controls your blood vessels. Sympathetic stimulation from the vasomotor center causes vasoconstriction. This increases resistance, which increases blood pressure. So there is your nervous regulation through parasympathetic and sympathetic. With hormone, we also have two different options. We have the renin-angiotensin system. This is three hormones, angiotensin II, ADH, and aldosterone. These hormones have two main effects. They increase your blood volume by causing the hypothalamus to feel thirsty and by causing the kidneys to make less urine. And if you increase blood volume, you increase blood pressure. They also act on your blood vessels and cause vasoconstriction.
This increases resistance, which increases blood pressure. Our other hormone is atrial natriuretic peptide, or ANP. This hormone reduces blood pressure. It acts on the kidney to make more urine. This reduces blood volume, which reduces blood pressure. It also acts on the blood vessels to cause vasodilation. This reduces resistance, which reduces blood pressure. AMP, remember, also inhibits the renin-angiotensin system. You have a connection between nervous and hormone because the sympathetic system can send norepinephrine to stimulate the kidney to secrete renin and get the renin-angiotensin system started. So the renin-angiotensin system can be its own thing if the kidney is responding to a decrease in blood pressure. It can also be stimulated by sympathetic and inhibited by AMP. So here is a summary of the ways that your body regulates your blood pressure.